Hello, everyone. My name is Jacob Fortung. I'm the host of this podcast, Do Us Within Emerging Markets. And I, I just want to share my experience with uh, using Anchor so far. So I, when the pandemic started, I, I thought about starting a podcast. And the whole idea was to bring in some really amazing folks that are doing some great work in their respective industries within the emerging markets. And the Anchor platform really helped me get the word out there and also just make it a lot easier for me to invite the guest and, and just share the amazing um, experiences they've had and the amazing work they're doing in their respective industries within the emerging markets. So um, it's pretty fun. Um, you don't even worry about the technical part of uh, making a podcast. You actually just focus more on the content and Anchor has done it really well for me. So I will highly encourage anybody who is trying to start a podcast to uh, try to use uh, uh, just check out Anchor, and I think you won't regret it. I'm not a technical person, uh, but you know, if you listen to these episodes that I've been been publishing so far, you know, it's, it seems like you know I, I know what uh, the technical part of it. But you know, Anchor helps you take care of the the technical part, and you just focus on the content. So uh, feel free to check it out. I highly encourage you won't uh, you won't uh, regret it. And you know, it's it's right there. You don't pay anything. So. Um, you know, in, in times like this, I think starting a podcast and getting the word out there, irrespective of what you're doing, will be a really great experience. So thank you guys for listening to my episodes. Please check out uh, Anchor and you you will have a great time. So uh, cheers, guys, and see you guys next next episode. Thanks. So for the companies here, um, in terms of uh, what what is the the types of companies you guys have encouraged for us? Is it more tech? Is it, mm-hmm. It's all tech. Uh, so, yeah, actually our yeah. staffs are like tech oriented. Okay. And okay. the industry, oh, we have like three major industries. The first mm-hmm. one is like big data mm-hmm. and some computing, but mm-hmm. more like B two B oriented. Yeah, okay. and the second one is like the hardware and software integrity, so mm-hmm. like the smart devices, the IoT services. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the third one is like the healthcare or the medical device. Okay. okay. Yeah. So these these three products are the major industry segments of mm-hmm. our uh, portfolios. Mm-hmm. However, we have some are doing like the agriculture or some doing like the social enterprise or some finance technology. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of good. Good breakfast. And do you have, do you guys have, uh, are these entrepreneurs, are these students, or these are like people that have full time jobs? Are these people like full time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 And they rely on the funding that they get through the foundations for the funding, or they have. Uh, you mean the startups? In the startups, yeah. Uh, uh, actually, we we won't invest the startups. Okay. Yeah, okay. because we want to, because we're a non profit organization, so actually mm. we want to remain the like zero equity. Mm, yeah, okay. so the startups maybe they have to uh, apply for some government subsidy or they they just do it. Uh, they have some like some investors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 That makes sense. Yeah, because yeah. as uh, as may mentioned, mm-hmm. because we are a nonprofit organization, mm-hmm. so we are more we operate in a very natural way. Mm-hmm. But we partner or many corporate co- like a corporate all our member companies that have corporate venture on. Mm-hmm. But we also partner with all the leading ventures here, mm-hmm. so we we tend to be neutral. But different partners they will do their investment the, directly mm-hmm. because for different partners they also have different interests. Yes, yes. So we are not if we only maintain certain portfolio, mm-hmm. we can only serve for one company. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So we to be we tend to be more neutral that every company they choose what they like. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so far, do you guys have? Uh, so she said there are 125 startups. 125. Yeah, 250 startups. And sorry. half of them are low, like the inter- uh, global teams. Global teams. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And do you guys have like a pitch pitch days where uh, people start us pitch? Uh, no. Yeah. We um. We seldom do the demo day. So, yeah, okay. because we are more than focused on like the matchmaking. Mm-hmm. 
pretty much making yeah, or uh, to bring the star to attend some exhibition. Okay. Yeah, okay, maybe okay. that's more efficient way for help us to uh, maybe to get a potential deal or uh, to have some business partners. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And do you guys have, in, in terms of uh, interactions with uh, universities, do you guys have any partnerships with universities that can help facilitate um, um, maybe, so for example, do you have like um, professors that come from, let me say, the National Taiwan University to, to kind of showcase some of their work that can help tech companies become more efficient in the technology or is there some aspect of academia slash Kind of developments that go off here? Well, actually, in Taiwan, uh, actually, almost every university they have their own incubator. Oh, they okay, okay. But, but that's a, a little bit different. Uh, originally, mm -hmm. the design that the story, the history of the university incubator can check back to, I think that's around 1990s. Okay, okay. Around 1990s to 95, that during that time, every Taiwan university mm -hmm. they all start their incubator. The original purpose is to help uh, uh, to translate the academic research into commercialized. Oh, okay. But actually, the the performance is not that good. There's so yeah. during the past twenty years, almost the incubator are doing more, almost like office leasing. Mm. So actually, we didn't intend to do that. But mm. actually, founders because we may may mention that we also have our student program. Mm -hmm. Education program, so we also have very good relationship with uh, almost every university mm -hmm. in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So when the professors or the research teams mm -hmm. they want to speak of from the universities, many of them will come to Garage for us mm -hmm. because we are more uh, actually actually for the academic side or from mm -hmm. the technology side because they are researchers, they are research that mm -hmm. they have very good technology mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but how we can help and what we can help is that helping them to commercialize mm -hmm. helping them to tackle the challenges for the starting up process mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so this is uh, how we help them so yeah, okay. we do have startup teams from national Taiwan university mm -hmm. national, all the top universities yeah, yeah. in Taiwan, Taiwan. Okay. mostly Taiwan okay. 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 but actually it would just uh, be a very good goodwill a very good partnership like, because it, I think we think that it's a very good thing to support mm -hmm. because we can help the university or help Taiwan to have more mm -hmm. and more very good company. Yeah. So we are very happy to help. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, we don't charge anything, we don't take any equity as well. Mm -hmm. So during the process, we just open our door. Mm -hmm. If they want to join us, they want to receive the support from the Raj Plus, mm -hmm. we will support. Okay. Yeah. How do you guys, so you, you guys don't make any money, no revenue? So because you guys just get the grants from the foundations, right? There's no source of... How do you guys well, make profit actually or the operation model is that, okay, yeah. so we receive donations or yeah. sponsors. Yes. Yes. For our organization, the Ito Foundation, we have, uh, uh, we maintain a member company base for around 40 companies in mm -hmm. Taiwan. Mm -hmm. They will have a very small amount of membership fees to support our operation. Okay. But for different projects like uh, our educational program, like uh, the Garage Plus Startup Group Startup Program, that different company will make different donation. Mm -hmm. if, if the company want to support more, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So like uh, for Garage Plus, we receive the donation from Enterprise. Mm -hmm. We receive donation from Venture Capital. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not like a, a transaction. It's, okay, it's okay. not that we give you some deals, so you give me money. No. Yeah. It's an honor goodwill okay. to support us. It's a more long term relationship. Mm, okay. So okay. Based on the, the, all our operation based on long term collaboration. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. how do you guarantee that you get the money? I mean, at some, at some point, you need to make sure that the money comes, right? Yes. So, every year we, need, we still need to do fundraising. Okay. The, fund, the fundraising is for the operation cost. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So yeah, every, just, yeah. every year we will have our target number. Yes. If mm -hmm. we can raise this yeah. kind of fund, then okay. we are safe. Okay. If okay. we don't raise that much fund, then we will cut down the cost. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's a more like an activity based. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if this year we plan to bring out other things to have an exhibition, roadshow in different country, mm -hmm. that takes, it needs more cost. Okay. Then we'll respond to that. Okay, okay. If we didn't respond successfully, mm -hmm. then we will adjust our plan. Of your plan, okay. Yeah. So it's flexible with how 
the funding process goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mostly we can make it. Make it, okay. Yeah, but so in the same time, we will not raise too much fund. Mm -hmm. So we will not raise a big fund and then put it in the pocket. Pocket, yeah. No, we don't do that. Yeah. We don't do that. Our finance is very transparent. Transparent. The okay. education rate is about 90 to 100%. Okay. okay. Yeah, we will not put the. <laughs> yeah, because many foundations that yeah. they will respond and put in the bank account. But yeah. for our finance, it's like every year we will do a hundred percent execution. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just, just gonna go back. Can you just tell me a little bit about your background and because I think one thing also is to profile the people that I meet. If you're if you're fine, can you just tell me about like where you're born in Taiwan, where you went to college, so I can get. Kind of where you're coming from. Oh, this is more personal. Personal, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, you can. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, my major is that the finance department in the college. In college. Yeah, okay. and in the master, I think it's management. Oh, yeah, only Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah. Okay. So, because I was the intern at Apple Foundation in 2013. Yeah, okay. So, after yeah. I graduated, in, which is uh, in 2014, I joined mm -hmm. the Apple Foundation. Okay. And to work for the graphics incubator for like more than four years. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, um, how did you hear, did you get, how did you get an, how did you get an internship? Did someone refer you to the internship or um, you found it yourself? I, I just uh, received the email from the school. <laughs> yeah, so actually because uh, every year, because our intern is also uh, last for one year. Mm -hmm. So every year, the internship program, we will do some recruiting. Mm -hmm. We will have uh, different channels, and one of it is to send the emails to some schools, some department, and just uh, 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 help us to just promote or share the information to students. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, so that's thanks to the university. Mm -hmm. They help us to share information yes. so we can have money. Oh, that's good, <laughs> that's good. So, that's, that's 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 also a part you mentioned that about yeah. our relationship with the university. 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 Okay. Yeah, otherwise the university will ban our information. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, it's not only referral based. Yeah. yeah, if you go back, you trace back to the first intern. Our internship program was started from 1998. Yes. And that year, only three interns here. Oh, three. Yeah, so from one university then to twenty years. Into okay. After twenty years, it's mm -hmm. spent. It's too spent. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. good. And so, what what made you excited or interested in entrepreneurship, and how was what made you excited to have this job? Was your sound um, like a very problem? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the the startups here are actually I think the the entrepreneurs they are solving the problems. Yes. Yeah, so I think also the incubator just help them to solve mm -hmm. the problem and act, uh, I really just uh, love this process. Yes. So every time we will just talk with the uh, startups, they will just uh, let us know what the challenges they are facing. Mm -hmm. And we, are, we will just thinking about what resources we can just provide. Okay. And help maybe, uh, maybe introduce some investors or maybe just introduce some partners and help them, them to make a deal or mm -hmm. develop another countries. I think that's really meaningful. Meaningful. Yeah. That's that's a good that's a good uh, that's a good reason. <laughs> that's a good reason. Um, yeah, nice. And do you plan? Uh, do you see yourself in this role for? What's your future prospects? Do you wanna stay here or? You don't have to say. <laughs> you have yeah, to say I think because at Sport Pass or at Apple Foundation, actually every year we will give us. Uh, uh, some milestones. For okay. example, like first year, uh, in like 2014, we just moved here, have the physical incubator, okay. and the next year we have the maybe a start to have the like start global program, yes. the, the our uh, first prototype, okay. and then like the next year we have the more scale scalable program. Mm -hmm. And for last, for example, last year we just bring the start to go to the like Japan market. Okay. So actually every year, Grafas Incubator or Apple Foundation, we will have different uh, milestone. Okay. Yeah, so okay. I think also working here is just like a startup. So you, mm -hmm. you won't do the things uh, regularly or mm -hmm. the same, or all the same. Actually, mm -hmm. we will have more like challenging things or maybe we want to uh, have more resources to do something. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I mm -hmm. think that's quite interesting. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's, 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 it sounds, it sounds fascinating. Yeah, so for example, because I work here for like more than four years, mm -hmm. but actually every year I think it's 
uh, really like challenging and really exciting to do things. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can tell. Uh, actually, when you took me upstairs, I saw some some crazy stuff up there. Some, some good tech and um, just the the stuff. I'm I'm actually excited to talk to them and see what they're working on. But it seems very some very interesting stuff that they're working on uh, upstairs. So. I guess because they have graduated from here up there, this is this, this not more focused and actually know kind of what they're really doing. So, oh, so this is your friend? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is my friend. Yeah. Don't believe everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It goes the way I was said. Don't trust him. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah. Just this, uh, well, uh, all of this very interesting part here is yeah. that yeah, most of us are from business school. So okay. maybe some part from two of us is, is a little bit similar. But mm -hmm. actually our colleagues are all from different kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, profession. Okay. Yeah, okay. So even we have team members from the biotech area, from the communication, from different kind of department mm -hmm. when the lectures back when, when they were on the mm -hmm. So uh, myself I was also an intern at Apple Foundation in okay. 2004. Sure. But what makes me here is that because my father work my father is also a professor mm -hmm. and his university is one of our member companies. It's in a, a, a small and medium sized university okay. in Taiwan, yeah, in my hometown because okay. Okay. He, he hates a large corporate <laughs> large organization. So, okay. so, yeah, it's a very good to stay at yeah. a more smaller size very, uh, university or college. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, during the time, I, uh, actually, what's special here is that mainly, uh, actually, I think 80%, I think most of our staff. Mm -hmm. We all agree with our mission statement. Yeah. So that's why we work at a non-profit organization. Yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit different from that people. Maybe you are venture back mm -hmm. incubator or accelerator program mm -hmm. or it's a, like a corporate support uh, accelerator program. I think not, we are all interested in building, uh, creating new things. Mm -hmm. But maybe we are not fully from the uh, Profit purpose. Yeah. So it's a non profit. It's a non profit, non -profit here. Yeah. yeah. So I think this is very special here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's uh, what I see from all our colleagues. Mm -hmm. We are doing actually, we are doing business like things. Mm -hmm. But from a non profit, in a non profit way. Okay. Yeah. Myself, uh, I, my under, undergrade was in business and administration mm -hmm. and BA. And mm -hmm. uh, this is now this is my second time to taking PhD. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I quit for the last time. So I, mm -hmm. recently I have some time and I want to do it again. Okay. And most of my time I was involved in tech like business. Okay. After from undergrad I involved in and working and for some tech project, tech company. Mm -hmm. And I also involved, I didn't start up myself, but I joined some startup used to be funded by my previous supervisor from previous companies. Okay. So I get into uh, know more about uh, what 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 is a startup like. Yeah, yeah. But it's a the most interesting part is not, not like uh, nowadays people talking about ventures, talking about fundraising. Mm -hmm. The most uh, uh, attractive, attractive part for me is that I can see new technology. Mm -hmm. I can see new things happen. Mm -hmm. I want to create new new products or new projects so that's a why, why I'm fascinated about startups. Okay. It's not about like the funding funding pace. Yeah. Yeah. So I think for now every year as men mentioned that different year we have we set up different goal or different purpose lab. But for now after so many years I came back to Apple Foundation work as full time from two thousand nine mm -hmm. and uh, from the past and like we actually I part I do a part time project to do a research about how to run an incubator in 2008 for Apple Foundation during mm -hmm. that time when I was a part-time researcher. Mm -hmm. For the past 10 years, what I see is that uh, from our organization and our goal setting is that from the very beginning that we only would like to support entrepreneurs to solve the very first challenges about how to start up business, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how to initiate a business mm -hmm. from idea to product. Mm -hmm. But nowadays we expand to, as I mentioned, that from the idea to product, product to market, and now 
we focus more on how to expand your market, mm -hmm. especially overseas market. Yeah, yeah. We are not defining about emerging market, mm -hmm. so we didn't define that if we need to go to China or go to India, go to Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. We define the emerging industry. Yeah, yeah. So we now there's most of the startup teams doing like IoT, AI or healthcare related. Mm -hmm. But what we are involved in is that we support this startup to get into access to the new technology emerging emerging mm -hmm. industry. industry. Yeah. Emerging that AI is kind of emerging, mm -hmm. digital health is kind of yeah. emerging. So yeah. it's a, a different definition mm -hmm. for us. Yeah. We are tackling with emerging technology mm -hmm. for emerging applications. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not regarded to emerging market only. It's yeah. not emerging economy. So yeah. let's say that if our start company, they, they are AI, they need to go to China. Yeah. Yes, we'll definitely be there. Yeah, yeah. If we, the, they are doing digital healthcare, they think that Japan is a uh, wild, mm -hmm. A good market we go to Japan. Okay, okay. So this is a, the current uh, goal we are setting to do that. Okay. But why uh, after so many years working here is that what the very good thing is here is that we can see not only start the companies here, mm -hmm. we can see company to scale up from the seed. Individual individuals from like some of our alumni they set up their business from a very early stage the company getting to scale up and they can join our um, join our membership mm -hmm. because their company get them to be more mature they want to advance mm -hmm. to the next stage mm -hmm. and then they join our program with MIT they are looking for the next generation next challenge next uh, the, the future mm -hmm. and uh, they get them to hire more and more people become a very uh, well established company mm -hmm. so I see the not only the growth of, of a, a firm Mm -hmm. I can see also this uh, growth of the talent pool, the growth of the society. Mm -hmm. We are creating the next decade. Mm -hmm. We are creating the future life of our society. Yeah, so I think that's a good thing I, I, I see here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, the, the, so the, the current goal of the career development is like, 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 like uh, we want to support, I want to support more companies mm -hmm. that can scale up. Yeah. And then they are building very good business, mm -hmm. not only profitable mm -hmm. but also they can take care of make so many people exactly. and people means also they they are well uh, well care with the household mm -hmm. and uh, all the businesses is not only like uh, doing uh, good things and many companies they also care about social impact mm -hmm. so actually we didn't define too much on what is a social enterprise yeah, yeah. many people are talking about social entrepreneurship or social mm -hmm. innovation yeah. line okay. but Everything you see is that our slogan is to help to bring a better life yeah, to our yeah. society. Yeah. Yeah. Even we don't name it social innovation, social impact, but everything is embedded in, the, uh, in our philosophy. Yeah. So bring a better life, you can do it in a healthcare. You yeah. do doing healthcare to bring a, our, a better life. Mm -hmm. You can do it agricultural business. Mm -hmm. You can do innovation for a innovation product mm -hmm. or a lifestyle product. Yeah, yeah. Everything is a pretty yeah. a good thing. So mm -hmm. I think it's so good that I can not only working for a venture capital, I want we need we'll do a, a investment, we get profit, we make a lot of money, we are building a very good community mm -hmm. with a, a bunch of company they all have the goodwill. Mm -hmm. That's 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 good. Yeah. So 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 this yeah, is some good. of my feedback. Yeah. So in terms of, um, do you think so? I, I think there might be a discrepancy between like your your parents' generation to this generation on how uh, entrepreneurship can be used as a way to uh, earn a living, right? Um, from your perspective, how how has that changed and how do you think moving forward uh, parents of this generation can adjust to the, the, the kids trying to start their own companies related to maybe working for a corporate industry or a full-time job? Mm -hmm. Just so generally, in terms of culture, how has that changed? Uh, just as I mentioned from the very beginning of yeah. our conversation, that yeah. for maybe 30, 40 years ago and mm -hmm. uh, like the 1950s, yeah. People here are trying to survive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just after World War Two, yeah. people are trying to survive. All mm -hmm. the 
entrepreneurship mm -hmm. or entrepreneurial businesses are trying to survive it. Mm -hmm. And because during that time, Taiwan was a very challenging during that time, yeah, yeah. people trying to survive. Mm -hmm. But after the 70s, people make profit mm -hmm. and they want to make even more profit because the people still on the baby booming mm -hmm. era that we need more mm -hmm. maybe to, to have a better life so mm -hmm. many investment, many tech investment make profit all the stock price raise mm -hmm. but after that also uh, the, also a financial crisis mm -hmm. uh, in Taiwan that after that people trying to rethink that not only make a lot of money and they down the healthcare people care about the welfare healthcare so mm -hmm. many about tech or healthcare related startup getting to have more and more we do care about all our life quality mm -hmm. food security mm -hmm. agricultural business uh, mm -hmm. healthcare business yeah. so it changed to uh, another term yeah. and nowadays like uh, i think after 2010 mm -hmm. people are getting to have more awareness about not only from csr it's more like uh, the what the social impact yeah so not only doing yeah. things right, and then we, people here they are thinking about how doing good. Mm -hmm. So many people, especially young people, they have a lot of uh, like a volunteer job overseas yeah. to help the other. Yeah. Not only in Taiwan but also overseas. Yeah. And the people, the young people trying to start their business, many of them, uh, I think. Because uh, we have a student project, the entrepreneurial education, right? Mm -hmm. Every two or three years, we can see one of the students thinking differently. Yeah. I think around 2010 to 2012, mm -hmm. almost our student projects, they are they all embedded with social innovation okay. or social enterprise like. Mm -hmm. Now there's uh, the thing or this kind of, or, of uh, image also deeply embedded in many uh, young people, or young students. Mm -hmm. So people now in Taiwan, I think people care uh, about the world. Mm -hmm. So people receive a lot of information from even we are not belong to United Nations. Mm -hmm. So but we still have a lot of innovation about a lot of global organizations, mm -hmm. global initiatives. So mm -hmm. young people, or many young people also involved in different in, in, initiatives mm -hmm. overseas. Okay. So I think now there's many people also think about that. Yeah. When I was coming here, I saw a bunch of uh, people trying to sign up, trying to sign me up for Amnesty International. Is it not Amnesty International? It's actually in the US too. Like it, it's a non-profit organization that helps um, people uh, that have been displaced by earthquakes or um, natural or political disaster, and they're trying to get um, asylum into other countries. Mm -hmm. I also try to see that because we have that in boxing as well. They okay. try to sign you up to donate money. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so actually, so the, yeah, it's pretty interesting. You can yeah. you yeah. mention that how much donation to philanthropy yeah. in Taiwan? Oh, okay. The counter one number, do you have? Would you like to get? Um, in, in total? Yeah. Mm. In Taiwan dollars or US dollars? Most will be fine. Just a guess. Mm. Maybe 70. No, that's too much. 20 million Taiwan? So well, so small. So. The, yeah. uh, above the table numbers, okay. the okay. transparent numbers uh, is more than 300 million. 300 million. 300 million. 300 million. Yeah, million. to some, to organization, they need to send a report to our government. So million. the under the table part, you don't know. So the fact that more than account according to our Ministry of uh, 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 Internal Affairs, yeah, yeah the the nonprofit organization in Taiwan they received at the least three hundred million US dollars yeah. per year. Three hundred million US dollars. Three hundred million US That's dollars million. per year. That's so the okay. actual number I think is far beyond that. It's far beyond that. Okay. So people do care. About it. okay. Yeah. That's so about every it. time you see, because yeah. in Taiwan we have typhoon, that's the hurricane. Yeah. We have an earthquake. So when the other countries they are facing this kind of uh, mm -hmm. catastrophe, a world war, make donation. Donation. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, in some uh, Latin America, when they also hurricanes and uh, earthquake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also like uh, in Japan, two thousand eleven. Mm -hmm.